All right. I need to eliminate Jindosh and find Anton Sokolov. She makes it sound easy. Welcome to the Clockwork Mansion, where, for reasons that I'm now thoroughly questioning, I thought it was a good idea to come through the front door. There... there wasn't a window, okay? Let's see what this has to say. Welcome to my home, stranger. The door is always open to those with the will to pass the threshold. Oh, nice of you to lay out a welcome. appointment, then proceed and bide your time. Otherwise, I'd be remiss if I didn't inform you about the defensive mechanisms employed here, which are quite formidable. Many have entered without invitation, for reasons as myriad as the fish in the ocean. But of those who've dared to explore further, very few have found their way back out. Well, I suppose it's sporting of the man to give us a warning. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, Clockwork Soldier sold auction. He sold two soldiers. They went... Oh, great. So we're going to start seeing these in the private sector now, aren't we? Terrific. And I thought putting him down would be an end of them. Oh, well, that's mass production for you. Why the... Ha, 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 ha. This room's fake, isn't it? Heh. Right. Okay, you can see the seams and the pulleys in the walls. You can see there's something behind it as well. No other obvious way forward, however. We're pretty clearly meant to pull this lever here, which presumably is going to do something horrible. Um, yeah, probably involving that. So, let's change the rules a little. Looks like there's something behind this roof space. Yoink. Right. Hostile territory, but we have just broken what Jindosh could have planned for. Which means he may not have an idea of how to respond to this. Which is always good. Keep the mad genius off balance. Of course, whether the game design is off balance is another matter entirely. Let's see... Whiskey one, whiskey two, whiskey three, whiskey four. Looks like this is the place in its uh, compacted state, I think is the best word for it. Yank! Hop over. Hop over again. Huh. And um, what bingo maintenance passageways? They've, there had to be something like this, didn't there? The space behind the walls. Excellent. Yank. Hopefully he won't be watching this quite so thoroughly. There's Mr. Clockwork down there. There's a button there. I... Normally I'd be pushing buttons out of habit in a dungeon like this, but when it's a dungeon inhabited by a mad scientist, it tends to be a bad idea. Let's see how far we can stay behind the scenes and hope old Jindy didn't leave any nasty surprises waiting for us. Oh. Guards, eh? Well, well, well. He's got organic guards on the premises as well. No wooden shoes permitted on the premises ever. <laughs> Someone didn't want a clockwork soldier sneaking up on them. Can't say as I blame them. Let's keep moving. Okay, looks like we're into the dining area again. Peek in. Can't see anything. What about in here? Ah, bingo, another guard in the dining area. Fine. Oh, coin of two. Handy, handy, handy. And there's a pool table in here? Oh, there's also a way up. Yoink! Okay, interesting game of pool. I don't remember there being Reeks. pegs on the board. Get a spare uniform. Yes, you do, my friend. That would be most beneficial for you. Okay, whale oil down there. Presumably that's going to tie into the security system somewhere. Let's see, is there anywhere further to go? No, but there's more money to loot, so we'll have that. Met a girl from Morley. Our love ended poorly. I spied a lads from Bristol. Huh. Right, so yeah, 
I'm assuming at some point someone has tried to mop the floor with the arc pylon active and presumably was found twitching on said floor immediately afterwards. Okay, not going to be able to drop that guy, but there's a lift there, so... Uh-huh. You think at these prices, the man wouldn't keep us waiting? There's only one. Kieran Jindosh. He can Indeed. charge whatever he likes. Besides, you're rich enough to afford a couple of the clockworks. I happen to know you've doubled your fortune since the Duke took over the silver mines. Low wages means higher profits. But it's my time that's precious. I'm not used to waiting. Neither am I. When was the last time someone had me waiting for more than an hour? I can't remember. It's almost titillating. How many clockworks did you say there were? It's a numbered set, if I recall. It is indeed. Oh, but guard 36, out there. 46. <laughs> Very exclusive, whatever the count. Everyone Far too at many the of club them. will be green with envy. No matter the count. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guard on the other side of that wall. Pop out the dark vision. Two guards on the other side of that wall. Damn it. Okay, still, there's some grenades then. If I have to dispose of the clockworks, that will be handy. Did I close my locker before coming out? Last time I left it open, someone left a hagfish in my jacket pocket. Well, that's what you get. Ooh, one clockwork soldier. Okay. Right. Can I domino the pair of them? Yes, I rather think I can. Domino one. Ooh. Domino two, right. So they're linked. Now let's pull out Dark Vision. See where they're inclined to go. I could, of course, simply sleep dart them. If that wakes the clockwork up, ah, oh, the hell with it. Down you both go. And the clockwork didn't wake up. Excellent. Right. Yink. Let's just flip back in. And then flip back over. I don't think anyone's going to come this way, so we should be good moving the bodies. Where did the other one go? Bingo. Ah, right, so we're... This must be the lift that's also serving the dining room. So that's fine. There's a whale oil dispenser. Okay, that's interesting. And, of course, one clockwork soldier on standby, which is both very interesting and also rather alarming. Okay, so that's you two sleeping beauties out of the way for a bit. Now then, nix the coin, open the cabinets, there we are, grenades, 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 full on grenades, full on pistol bullets. Well, if that guy wakes up I do at least have some ordnance to deal with him, but I'd really rather not. Right, one guard just looks like he's napping, and. Huh. There's a wall of light over there. Right. Tippy toes, tippy toes. Take a peek. Looks like an observation room of some description. Huh. But either way, we're still back on the front of the house at this point, so let's. Head backstage once again and see if we can get any further. Yoink. Of course, now I'm out of sleep darts, which makes life a little more uh, awkward. Right, drop down a bit. Ah. Have a look at what's in this level. Oh, blood flies! Yeah, fuck. And um, that sounds like a patrolling guard. Is there anything? Hmm. Can't 
can't see or hear anyone. Into the sewer. Okay. Do I waste an incendiary bolt on these guys? No, I don't think I do. I'll just tip the up. Come on, guys. That's right. Sliced and diced. Now, what happened to you, my poor friend? You had a bone charm and you also had your last words. Are you trapped? That's a shame. No food, no water, and now he grows weak. Oh dear. The last words of Stanislav Shepard. Shortly to become a uh, bloodfly nest. Lucky him. You were avenged, my friend. It is the least I could do. Okay. Let's keep the tippy toes going. Ah! Whale oil connection there. Looks like it's feeding something. Well, I don't care. If Jindos wants it switched on, I want it switched off. Mechanical soldiers moving walls. Okay, one guard there. Most people are happy just doing a job. Well, you. Sign up to work in the house of a crazy inventor. You must expect a few things that aren't entirely normal. Okay, this gets us... Okay, now we're below the dining hall. Ha! Huh. Looks like this place extends a great deal further than I expected. Looks like... Looks like the kitchen's down there? Maybe? Yeah. What about this way? Oh, ho. oh, we found Anton! Yay, he's in the assessment chamber. That sounds like it's a fun place. Right, he's in there. Okay. Usual drill. Mark vision, do a quick scan, make sure there's nothing nasty around here. Looks secure, so down and... Oh, crap! Guard, 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 guard. I think something moved. Yes, something did move. Damn it. Alright then, come on. Stop! Kneel down to your betters. Uh. Excuse me, do you know who you're talking to? There we are. What were you saying about kneeling down to your betters? Yes, that's right. Lying down will work as well, though. Hello, Ratty. Okay, took a little bit of a hit there, which is unfortunate, but I still haven't killed anybody. Unfortunately, someone else probably heard that pistol shot, so let's keep moving to the laboratory. I'm really hoping all the clockwork soldiers come with a remote off switch, but that would probably be too much to hope for. Oh, ratty, 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 you didn't need to do that! I mean, for one thing, I needed you to get through that great. For another thing, I, I know what a wall of light is, thank you very much. Whoa. Nice of it to start pulsing red to warn me, though. Okay. What's this? Oracular order divided. So they were... Duh, 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 duh. There's a tense disagreement between the sisters of the oracular order. The sisters have come close to endorsing. Uh huh. Right, but from what we saw in the overseer's place back in town, the oracular order got um, jumped, didn't they? Right, I need a rat. Come on, ratty. Come on, ratty. Come on, rat. Oh, for God's sakes. Don't tell me there was only one rat in the whole damn building. Uh, pull up shadow form. need to remember I have this. Seriously, there was only one rat on this side of the wall. God damn it, the one time I want somebody to keep a dirty house and they keep a clean one. Ratty, come back here, ratty. Oops. 
money feels good. And I have no idea what that is, but it relieves some tension. Do I have any other way past? No, not unless I can far reach. Nope, 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 that's not going to work. Still, we found the far side of the mansion, which is something. Ha! Huh. I need a rat. I never thought I would say this, but I need a rat. Oh, oh what's up here? No, it just looks like random garbage. Uh, ratty! Come on, ratty! Come on, ratties! Where are you, ratties? I've been ignoring them as scenery all this time. And now the moment I actually want one, it turns out it jumped into a wall of light and killed itself. Probably just to spite me. Oh ho. That sounded bad. That's because it is bad. There's a clockwork soldier in there with old Anton. Lucky me. Lucky. Lucky me. Okay. Oh, no. Rat. Rat. Come here, little rat. Come on, my friends. Come on, my friend. I have need of you. There we go, you were shadow boxing the wrong way, my friend. Got you. Okay, now let's just disappear the body. Ratties, no, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. Come on, right now, how does this work? Oh no, it's not like Corvo's possession ability. We are actually rat-sized at this point. Okay. And Shadow Walk. Okay, that may actually simplify things a little. I thought we needed a rat to uh, possess to get through that great, great sh shaft. Vent shaft. Great. Past the great into the vent shaft. Ah, 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 yes. Words. Okay, right. Let's see if this will work. Come on, then. Bingo! Through, down, and... Up on the other side. Perfect! We don't need the rat after all. And I'm just going to leave that in one piece for the moment. Also, I'm going to swallow some uh, tincture, because... Well, run the mana reserves a bit though. Okay, we have another lift. Ha. Okay. I'm willing to bet that this is going to summon something unpleasant if I ask for it. So, we'll push the button, summon the lift, and then run away! Tension, tension, tension. Come on, did that summon anything? No, it didn't. Ha! Huh. I was willing to bet money there'd be at least one nasty surprise if I... <coughs> Use the lifts here. Okay, another pratfall, courtesy of <sighs> forward momentum and far reach, but at least now I have a way up that doesn't involve actually calling the lift. 
Okay, and I think from our rough position, we're actually inside Shindosh's private chambers, which is always good. I wonder how many surprises he's got waiting for us here. Uh, pull out. Let's check the heart. Your friendless and hunted like a beast. Yet still you act with honor. Thank you, Mummy. I'm glad you approve. Or maybe you're just space palming out how stupid I'm being. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell sometimes. Dark vision up. Wait for the pulse. Okay, we are... We're actually doing pretty well. I don't think I can see any guards. Of course, I can't see Jindosh either, which is not reassuring. Come on. I want to get out the hatch if you... There we go. Thank you. Okay. Drop down again. Ooh, sticky grenades, eh? Those sound like they could be fun. In a strictly lethal fashion, which I would prefer not to engage in. External hatch. Excellent. Of course, he's probably got the place wired up the wazoo with defences. No, he hasn't. Huh. Well, I suppose he had to be getting fresh air from somewhere. I wonder if there's anything of interest. It's a long way down. Believe me, I had noticed. You did not need to add it. It's yet another high place to fall from in the history of video games. Is there actually anything of note along this way? No, but if it's awkward to get to, it's probably awkward for a good reason. Oh, it looks sealed up from here. What about over here? Oink. Ah. Bingo, we just found Jindosh's private quarters. Wait, no, this is the observation range we were looking at from the back passageways earlier, isn't it? Ha! Huh. Okay. Fascinating man's a painter. Clearly likes to relax in the sun. I mean, he's got some spectacular views. I'll give him that. Okay. Dark vision again. Just make sure we're clear. I think if there was anyone here, we'd have spotted them by now, but... Hard to be sure. Yeah, there's the other clockwork shoulder. Soldier. Clockwork shoulder? Well, I suppose you could have one of those. Wouldn't be much use in this situation, though. Equip the heart. Where is it? 57 metres to the rune. Unlock that. There is Blackbone charm at 14 metres. Don't really want to activate anything in the house if I can avoid it. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, so... Ooh, he has a rewire tool in his circuitry. Handy. So what is this? The assembly line of some sort? Huh. Pretty much by the looks of it. Or they're testing the locomotion rig. In fact, I think... Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're testing locomotion. Huh. Well, I suppose they had to make sure the things could keep their balance first and foremost. Embarrassing if your prize creation falls over for some obscure reason. Okay. So that pretty much tells us what we wanted to know here. Drop down. Tiptoe across the pipes. And... Bingo, back into the lab complex. Okay, so that's that. Now, as I remember, we've got at least one more level that we can check here. So, first things first. Right, this is locked. wonder what's on the far side. Bingo, the lab is the next floor up. Looks like Jindosh has been a busy man. Whole thing is probably rigged as a massive trap, of course. Yoink! No. Yoink, better. Adamire up. One. Okay. Wait for him. Bit playback after the final field test. 
jump again. And we'll go right the way up to the top this time. If level 2 is the lab level, and therefore Jindosh is quarters, I'd quite like to be able to get the drop on him, if you don't mind. And also whatever security he's got in there with him. Okay. Right. One laboratory. Nice. Rat tunnel there if I need it. And I think I might. Clockwork soldier patrolling the upper level. Looks like, yeah, we'll go into shadow form. I can't equip the hard This must be mode. Jindash's lab. Lint. Okay, end shadow walk. Oh. General detection state. Um. Um. Leave. Okay, time to head back up because. Well. Okay, right, so we are going to have to find a way of taking out Mr. Clockwork over there. And not forgetting that he can see behind us. And there's another guard there that will go active if I alert Kirin. Right, so Kirin's at the lab positioned over there. He's got one clockwork soldier on patrol, which I still have no idea how to disable. <sighs> There's got to be a way of taking these guys out quietly, hasn't there? Maybe. Perhaps. Where is it? Mr. Clockwork. Loop. Right. Back into dark vision again. Come on, my friend. Come on. Is there a way to disarm these guys peacefully? I mean, it's not that they've got a windpipe. You can't choke them out. Whale oil, perhaps? Wind is played. Okay. There's got to be a way of getting behind Jindosh without being seen. Load if I can see what it is, though. Well, it may be as simple as just pegging it into the rat run. The machine will probably come and check that area out. So, quick skin round. Bingo. Whew. Okay, right. That's made it to the next level. Well, the next stopping point. To sneak around that clockwork abomination. The New World was not stated with Hamill, none other than the captain himself. Unfortunately, the docile beasts were not uh, that docile. And they were poisonous. And he asphyxiated within half an hour. Yeah, terrific. And so Anton immediately declared himself captain, and therefore the crew kept to the beach for the week. Right. Then he sent two academy students out to get a sample of the prairie mold and so swiftly killed the captain. Because, after all, they were here for science!